Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the T-Player app to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is pretty easy and will take you um, no more than a couple of minutes. And the very first step we gotta take is get the downloader application to your Fire Stick, if you don't already have it. So, in fact, you can get the downloader free of charge from your official Amazon App Store. You just go to the search bar in the App Store and start typing downloader in the search. And usually there is even no need to enter the whole name of downloader because as you can see, it has already popped out for us at the bottom. So we click on downloader and that's the app that we gotta get to your far TV stick. But after we got downloader, it is not over yet because we still have to set it up. So now in order to set up the app correctly, we have to go to settings then scroll down until you'll see My Far TV. You open it, and now in here you have to turn on developer options for your Far TV stick. However, on some Far sticks, and especially on the new Far TV stick devices, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, then no need to worry because it's pretty easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Far TV stick. And now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote and do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. That is in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which now have pop out for us right here. Open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, after that, head straight into install on all apps and turn that option on for downloader. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps, which are only available in your official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, we gotta go to the list of apps on your Fire TV stick. Here it is, we open it. And then there is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire TV. However, before actually using the downloader, there is one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In a VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say they'll connect to Bulgaria right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means that no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important, if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use Downloader safely. So we go straight back into a list of apps on your device, open Downloader, and wait a bit until it loads for us. After that, you open this search bar, and now we'll need to enter a code, which will be 9805127. So once again, 9805127. That's the code we have to enter, and click on Go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel, so we'll get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly helps me a lot, and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now the download finally started for us, so just wait a bit 
until the app gets fully downloaded to your Fire TV Stick device. And after it got downloaded, you have to click on install and then wait for the app to get installed on a Fire TV Stick or Android TV, depending on what kind of device you are using, of course. And after it is installed, do not click on open yet, instead press on done because this way you get an option to delete the installation files as you don't really need them anymore on your Fire Stick device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way you get rid of an SDK files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. And now we go back to the list of apps on your device and there is the T Player app, which we installed. So now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, the app is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be pretty easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. So, enjoy and see you next time. Bye-bye.